Let It Do Cosmic Crew. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, I got another video for you. So, this was by request. Um, Big Boogie. So, we're just going to get right into it. I haven't done a reading on him in a while. Okay. Yo, these people be trying to get out their contracts. Like, for real. That be the first thing I see. something about um I don't there's something about a lifestyle that's very expensive there's also something here about paying for a lot of funerals someone's trying to protect their money Something about an advance. I don't know if he blew his advance. There's definitely something here about being tied to something. He may... Um, there's like a ghost riding camp. I like. I guess there's somewhere you can submit songs. Or like they give demo tracks to to artists. There's something about defending his intellectual property, defending his work. Protecting his work. I don't know what kind of deal he signed, but mm mm. Mm mm. No bueno. This man loves with his whole heart. Like he if he fuck with you He got a big heart. I'm here, my pain runs deeper than the ocean. He do got a lot of there's there's a lot of things that he um holds on to emotionally. It's a lot of a lot of hurt, a lot of fear, a lot of trauma. He's looking for um. A pearl. I feel like he kind of tied a hole. I feel like he really does have a love for um, being creative. He's trying to find something to give him a spark. To give him inspiration. He needs something inspirational. I feel like pussy is very inspirational for him. He's trying to find that one that kind of gets in that feeling to write like a hit. He definitely got a type. They all look alike. He feels betrayed when it comes to to business. There's something that happened um, with some finances. I don't know if he done lent people money and they done switched up on him or how people switched up when it comes to money. Having to cut a lot of people off because they didn't want to work. They didn't want to put in the work. There's definitely something here about loving his parents or some grandparents here. 
Like he loved his family, he loved his people. But I feel like, <laughs> I don't know, does he have a girl? Cause it's like, if he doesn't, like he just he just wants somebody that truly loves him for him. Like he could just, <laughs> he's adorable. Cause like his emotions are so like pure. He's very pure hearted. Oh. I do feel like yeah, there's somebody at this time just really um so I don't know if he's wanting to settle down. There may have been a situation that um see he may have lost somebody. Maybe one of his true loves Okay, there's also something here about not really being able to find true love. Apparently, that's a big deal. <laughs> and just throwing dick because ain't nobody um, compatible. Yeah, there's something here that definitely came to an end. A chapter closed in his life. Maybe he was with some. I feel like he may have lost his true love or something. Maybe he was still young, still moving, kind of selfishly. I don't know who. I feel like there is someone who's transitioned. Or like, whatever this is, this situation. Or somebody will never talk to him again. They won't fuck with him no matter what. There's somebody who either has his heart He feel like these hoes be trying to set him up. He's he's kind of um I wouldn't say paranoid, but just cautious. <laughs> I keep hearing this song. My pain runs deeper than the ocean. I don't even know the rest of the words. Who is that? Is that Future? I'm gonna have to see. I got a death to the ones. They definitely wanting to put a put an end to like this fast lifestyle. Wanting to really calm down, kind of mature, like um, grown man shit. Okay, kind of had his fun. Like it gets to the point where you run into like the same energy. I feel like he's tired of that. Running into the same energy in different vessels, you know, type shit. But someone here definitely transitioned that was very close to his heart. This may have been one of his pot partners. Maybe even a father figure. He's definitely... Um, ruled by his emotion. His heart is on his sleeve, baby. I feel like he's trying to work through that, not being so um so compassionate, so considerate. If it's not mutual, I definitely feel like he loves the spotlight. He loves the attention. But he's just very charismatic. And he's very creative. He's very um, artistic. And charming. Okay. He has star-like qualities. Just naturally since a child. Okay. Never really had to do much. Things just kind of worked out for him. 
There's like a lot of people trying to trap him with babies. There has been a lot of people he's had to cut off. Or a lot of people trying to um, destroy his career. Like eat off his plate. And it's something about his work ethic compared to those that were around him. And how people kind of hating. A lot, there's a lot of negative talk that he was experiencing. Okay, there's a lot of people that didn't believe in him. definitely a feminine energy here that either he's met or he is manifested okay who is this does he know this woman i feel like it's hard to find whoever this woman is it's hard to find there is there is definitely love spells on him there are women in his energy that have spells on him like for real you're trying to trap him physically or spiritually encapsulate his soul Okay, somebody got voodoo dolls on him, trying to bury him, freeze him, put him in the ocean, mess with his mind, mess up his money. I feel like there was a time where he did, may not have believed in spirituality, but he had to. He may have either even had to go get a cleansing. Like I said, he's definitely manifested something. To complete him. Mm. Like he keeps attracting spiritual women. And it's kind of forced him. Yeah, it's kind of forced him to have to look at things differently. It's enlightened him. <laughs> <laughs> All the roots that's been thrown on him has enlightened him spiritually. Like, yeah, this shit is real. <laughs> you can't just go around breaking people's hearts, bro. Once people get emotionally invested, they they are justified. You can't be playing with people's feelings. I feel like he had to learn that, and now he's he's definitely taking love seriously. We love full circle moments, okay? He's very nervous about his next move, about his next creative endeavor. There's a lot of anxiety around that. Okay. I feel like he's very hard on himself. Am I also very good at transmuting energy? Also scared of catching something. Or somebody drugging him. Or like, they're definitely taking advantage of him. I feel like he may have dreams. Like he don't trust a lot of people, especially new people. It's also something about um trans women. It's definitely something here. I keep hearing stop my motion. People trying to stop his motion. Stop his growth. He may be moving. There's car magic. There's definitely people trying to take this man out. Why? He's under some type of surveillance. 
There's a lot of spies. A lot of people watching him from different places. A lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of monitoring spirits. Why? Jealousy. People from the outside looking in, jealous of what he got. Yeah, it's about it's about um this is demeanor. This is really people just being envious of who you are naturally. And I guess going it for himself. Like I say, it's hard for me to elaborate on those energies. I don't I don't understand them. What's this? have let other people talk him out of a, a good relationship maybe this person isn't wasn't as well off as him or maybe he wants somebody that's has a normal life like he's even been through most of the industry holes or just you know you know that's something about wanting a regular bitch. <laughs> Somebody that loves him for him. But also not wanting to be Captain Save a Ho, but <sighs> I don't know if there was somebody that was with him before he really popped off. Like he wish he could go back so he could find somebody that loved him through it all that held him down. I I keep seeing that a lot with these men. It's like men have feelings too, right? So they want to be loved for more than just their money and what they can do for you. And finding something that's genuine, especially when you have a certain status, appears to be rather difficult. We got the Ace of Cups, the Lovers, the Star, the Sun. Like, at the end of the day, this man just want to be loved, bro. I feel like he's walking away from a lot of things. He's turned his back on um, things that he feels like don't deserve him. Okay. Apparently, that's where his mind be at. Or where it's at at this point. It also may be something similar to um, where he needs to kind of write a love song. I like a, a, a song that's geared more towards the women in that nature. Anything else? All that, the thing is, all all that hot boy shit, bad boy shit, fucking hoes, like, that is not him at all. This is a lover boy, if I ever seen one. If I ever seen one. This boy emotions run so deep. He, he loves love. He wants to be in love. He wants a true, genuine connection. I feel like that inspires him. That, that, that bond, that knowing somebody really got your back, somebody you can trust your heart with. Somebody that loves you for you. He want that, that death row shit like Big Draco at Nowhere. You complete me. Okay. It's harmonious. We build together. We work together. 
Okay, we feed off each other. We we help each other. We all that shit. That's what you really want. I don't give a fuck what his image is. He wants to, he wants to be somebody's husband. There's a new love coming his way. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, this is somebody. There's a lot of, a lot of reciprocity here. Whoever this is, they are so good for him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This, whoever, now, I don't know if he's with this woman already, but there's an energy here of a woman that he's going to be very protective over. He is not going to play with this girl. Because the way she loves him... And treat him and make him feel and like pour into him. Yes. That's what he needs. It's either it's here or it's coming, baby. This is somebody who's real earthy. Okay. Good with their hands, about their money. I feel like he likes to test people. Yeah, he tests people, especially when it comes to money. I feel like he, he's a very, um, he's become a very good judge of character. He'll move on rather quickly. There's a relationship here that's going to move fairly quickly. Let's, what's going on career-wise before we get out of here? He's not really focused on his career. <laughs> his focus is not there, okay? So he either got his eye on somebody or he already got her. For real, for real. What's going on career wise? Mm -hmm. I'm hearing um, Usher, Let It Burn. Okay. When the feeling ain't the same in your body, don't want to, but you know, gotta let go, cause the party ain't jumping like it. You see how, man, I be chilling my ass off. Oh, it is a big ass. I be chilling my ass off. You see how the lyrics, the parties ain't jumping like they used to. <sighs> okay. I feel like he was always destined to be famous. Are like very well known and popular. Okay. Definitely. That's it. It might just be in his birth chart, baby. Um. He may even be trying to find a love again for music. But for some reason, he is caught up in his feelings. I'm twisted because one part of me is telling me that I need to move on. I, I keep feeling, I don't, did he lose someone that he was dating? I feel like there's something about having this all this all this shit around you, nobody to share it with. This big old house, all these cars and clothes, nobody to share it with. So he must have did something real good with his money. I feel like he's trying to like make them drop him. <laughs> Maybe if he can make the label drop him. I feel like you might still have to owe, oh, bro. Um, is he signed to Gotti? Is that, is that it? I don't... It's really like he, he still has a love for music, but he want to walk away and have a family. Eight of cups, ten of cups. Like, I also feel like he does have a lot of love for um, the craft. 
Like he loves the love that he receives from the crowd, from his fans, from the people that genuinely enjoy him. There's something about having, having to spiritually protect himself and trying to um, get out. I don't know if he's playing crazy. Trying to tell there is no focus on music. But I do feel like, you know, emotionally he, he does love it internally. Okay, there's something about um see he didn't want to go through the doors. Uh uh. He trying to take what he got and, and move along. He ain't trying to elevate too much. There's somebody that he saw as like a father figure that tried to like hook up with him. I feel like he he noticed how many um how demonic the industry is. A lot there's something about the walking dead. Okay, soulless. <laughs> he wasn't trying to sell his soul. Okay. Yeah, he fighting for his soul. He's trying to pay his way out. There might be another project that he that he owes. He might be um trying to get a lawyer, some representation. I feel like this is this is going on behind the scenes. Like he's definitely keeping his business um personal about what's going on. Okay. We're gonna leave that right there. Alright, until next time.